All right, guys, now take a look at this. You can't even get through the door without the jacket hitting both sides of the doorway, walking in. Like, how is this thing even usable? <laughs> like, like, how would you sit down in a booth to eat somewhere, like in a restaurant? I, I don't know about this, guys. Hey guys and welcome back. We just got in some new sneaker boxes here as well as another three pack of triangles for this nano leaf set up behind us, which I don't know if I'm gonna do all three. I definitely wanna put one up on top, but I'm not sure if we'll expand it. We'll look at it here in a few minutes. I do wanna put these shoe boxes together real quick because we have basically just been putting shoes over here for the longest time. I really think it's ugly. So why don't we put these together, see what they look like, and hopefully they arrived in one piece and they're not broken. <laughs> when the Amazon girl was bringing these up to my house, she actually dropped one on the ground and these things are really heavy so hopefully nothing's broken but let's go ahead and put them together oh wow we just got a check out on rsvp it looks like we got a green noise done size nine and a half we'll take it the only one that restocked so that's pretty nice yeah, it's magnetic. Now we just need to build uh, seven more of them. Okay guys, so we just got the shoe boxes put together. I think these turned out extremely well, actually. I'll put the link in the description below, but these were from Amazon. They do hold on with these little magnets here on the doors, but really nice quality. Three of these is like $58 for these clear ones. They do have the black ones as well, which were a little bit cheaper, but I went with the clear because everything in this room is kind of like white panels, gray walls. I kind of felt like the black was thrown off my contrast a little bit. These turned out extremely well. Um, let's go ahead and add on to the Nano Leaf setup next and see what that looks like. Looks like we got a shipment out here. Hopefully this is FedEx, but I think these are the Sonos speakers I ordered. Let's find out. That actually worked a lot easier than I thought. I thought I was gonna have to like pull the panel off, but now I just gently pulled back the panel, snapped it in place, and I guess let's open up the app and see if we need to configure it. I mean, it's showing up in the app. I'm not really sure what to say. I've never had this happen before. All right, so it seems to be working. So guys, I know my lighting is really poor right now, but I do, it's hard to take a video of these things anyway because they're so bright and the camera just constantly tries to adjust. I know we said we weren't really going to add on to it, but I added two more panels and I just can't stop. I just love these things so much that I have a small addiction. I still have one more triangle left because I did get a three pack expansion. You know, we could just add one more. You know what I'm saying? Just one more. <laughs> Well, I've heard a lot of good things about these Sono speakers, but personally, you know, I haven't even really got the chance to even listen to one other than maybe in like a Best Buy. I don't really count that. Wow, this thing is actually really heavy. So let's go ahead and open it up. First of all, the packaging is really interesting. These white ones are impossible to find. The only ones that seem in stock are the black ones, but I got lucky. I got these from B&H Photo and Video. They were the only ones that actually had the white ones in stock. I think Sonos is even back ordered like a couple weeks, but this is it. And man, just take a look at that design, guys. This thing is really impressive. This is the Sonos One, not the SL. The SL is the cheaper model. Again, I think two of these is probably super overkill because this office is not that big to begin with, but we're going to try it out, see what we think, and if it is too much, we may just move one to the bedroom or something like that, but uh, I got a good deal on these. This was $419 shipped. There were no taxes, and it was FedEx two-day shipping. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get these hooked up and see what they sound like. I will point out that I have been using Amazon Echo Dot, which that's probably like one of the most outdated things <laughs> that I even have in this room. We are switching over to the Apple HomePod, but I got one of those, so, because the Nanoleaf support Thread. If you guys are unfamiliar with Thread, it's just a much faster network, and you have to have a HomePod Mini in order for that to work. I think you can also use your Apple TV, which I do have, but not entirely sure. I just think the HomePod's really cool looking. So we are going to try to integrate that in with the Sonos speakers, and I do use Amazon Music as my music choice. Kind of interesting seeing how all this is going to work together, but we'll figure it out one way or the other. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, let's go ahead and get these bad boys paired up. Okay, apparently the speaker has to update. So far guys, the sneaker room is really coming along. I know we just kind of just jumped into it out of nowhere. We had talked about it for months and then, you know, finally we, you know what, let's start throwing stuff together. With these shoe boxes that I just set up here in my office, I have already ordered a Nano Leaf light strip to go behind that as well. And then we're probably gonna stop with all the lighting because we got so much going on. I do have Nano Leaf light bulbs to go in right above me in the ceiling. 
Actually, those I think just got delivered today. I need to go out and check in the mail. But they are, we'll go ahead and get those installed. So far, this has been extremely easy. It has a very like Apple type feel to it where everything is just seamlessly connecting, updating. I'm not even having to do anything, but just click continue. That sounds really good. That sounds like a movie theater right now. All right, so let's try to get some music going. Thought I kind of knew that. Let's just go ahead and search up some Travis Scott because you guys know that's all I listen to. Okay, guys, that is pretty sweet, actually. It doesn't have as much bass as I was hoping for, though. So, you know, I know you can buy a Sonos sub. You know, what else can I buy at this point? All right, guys, we're back here. We did pick up the HomePod Mini. So let's go ahead and open this up. Again, the reason why I got this was because supposedly this helps with the thread network and it nail leaves. I am starting to convert my home into a smart home so I've got already a ton of accessories. Now that I want to get into lighting uh, I definitely want to try to stick with HomeKit but just because I love everything Apple. Yeah this thing is so small. I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. We're going to go and open up this package that we just got in from Best Buy. And we did secure two Nanoleaf bulbs, which is going to go into the lighting above us. Again, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, Nanoleaf is supported in HomeKit without a hub. So you do not need any type of hub whatsoever, which is really nice. Wow, that's actually a lot brighter than what it was with the old, with the old 60 watt bulb. A really bright white, which I like. What's up guys? So it's been a few days since we were last chatting. We did just get in several boxes and I want to go and do a quick unboxing. I think we got some really cool stuff. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, the first one is a Sono sub. So we did go ahead and pick up the sub the other night, which I don't know if this is a good purchase or not. This subwoofer costs $800 with taxes. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what it looks like. Wow, and look at that. <laughs> this thing is a beauty, guys. And this is really, really heavy. I think you said it weighs like 36 pounds, which, which in my opinion is a lot for a subwoofer, especially for one that is this size. I mean, just take a look at how small it is. So hopefully this thing packs a punch. We're about to find out. Let's get it hooked up. Oh my God, guys, that was insane. Like, is the Sonos sub worth $800? After I just heard what I did, absolutely yes. Like, that was crazy. How much bass actually comes out of that small little thing? <laughs> and I guess it's not really too small. It definitely has some good size to it. The whole floor is literally rumbling in this office. So I'm highly impressed. I definitely think it was worth it. <laughs> so we're definitely gonna keep it, guys. Like, this is crazy. But I gotta tell you, this is, again, very much overkill for an office setup. This should really be in a living room. Some place where everyone is going to be. Let's go ahead and see what else is in all of these boxes here. So we did go ahead and hit on a raffle from end. I cannot believe I hit on the end, especially for something as cool as these. I paid $225 from these. I know they tax a little bit over there. I'm definitely going to keep the second pair for a while. I think prices are going to go to the moon and back. Great hold. I love this shoe. It's one of my favorite shoes now, guys. We did get a new Balance 992s. I, wonder, I, I don't even know who these came from. I want to say these came from one block. I think that's the website. We got a size eight we pay like 220 230 for these but you know i can easily move these for 260 no problem maybe even 275 i've actually been selling quite a few of these for that so a quick 30 40 profit i have literally sold out of all of my 992s and guys i'm making like 60 70 in profit a piece on these crazy new balance shoes so excellent excellent buy okay this one came in from hivet sports so what i've been doing uh, with hivet lately is i've been using tsunami monitors to watch for 
for Hibbit Resox, and whenever I see them, 15 or 45 mark on the hour, and then I use Apple Pay to check out. These are actually a Jordan 1. It's really like an off-white cream. This actually is really fire. Resale, I wanna say, is like 145 or so, so not a bad profit either. Okay, so we got a pair of pandas again. Like, I, guys, we just talked about this, like, I think last episode, the episode before that, how I've never hit a pair of pandas. And here we are, three pandas in three episodes. This is a six wide, but these things should move. We'll make definitely a decent profit, probably $30 to $50. <laughs> Okay guys, as you know, we save the best for last. And so what we got here, we got in the Yeezy Gap Jacket. <laughs> Let's see how ridiculous I look in this. Let's try it on, see what we think. Guys, this is it. <laughs> this is it. How much of a marshmallow do I look like in this thing? Like, look how big this is from the side. I don't know about this, guys. You do get pockets with this, but the pockets are literally made of the same material as this. So like when you stick your hands in only, like just for a few seconds, your hands are like sweating. And this thing smells like, it smells like a swimming pool or something like that. There's no way to actually like close it. Like you get these two little strap things. Like what are you supposed to do with this? Yeah guys, so what do you think about the Yeezy Gap jacket? Definitely interesting, definitely huge too. You know guys, I think I would rather just return this. Thank you guys so much for watching the episode. If you did like the content, Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.